I would like to request Dr. Geeta Singh, Assistant Professor, Department of Environmental Engineering, DTU, to present saplings to respected chief guest, Sri N. Nigam, Senior Scientist, Ministry of Earth Sciences, Government of India. Welcome, sir. I would now request Professor E.K. Haritash to present samplings to guest of honor, Sri Dinesh Kumar, Chairman Safety and Quality Forum, Institute of Engineers. Welcome, sir. I would now request Ms. Chitrakshi to present saplings to Professor S.K. Singh, Head of Department, Department of Environmental Engineering, DT. Welcome, sir. I would now request Ms. Rajna to present saplings to Sri Rajesh Kumar, Institute of Engineers. Welcome, sir. I would now request Ms. Malika to present saplings to Professor A.K. Haritash, Professor, Department of Environmental Engineering, DT. Welcome, sir. I would now like to invite Professor S.K. Singh to deliver a welcome speech. Good morning, all of you. It is my privilege to welcome all of you for this one-day seminar on the event of World Water Day. A respected Nigam Saab from Ministry of Earth Sciences, a chief guest, Sri Dinesh Kumar ji, ex engineer chief CPWD and PWD Delhi, and he was also former chairman Institution of Engineers. Just before me, now I am the chairman Institution of Engineers Delhi section Delhi center. Earlier to me, he was the chairman, Delhi State Center. Presently, Sri Dinesh Kumar ji is chairman, Safety and Quality Forum, Delhi. Uh, Sri Rajesh ji, Secretary, Institution of Engineers, Delhi State Center. Sri Anil Ahritas, Dr. Mukherjee, and our two eminent speakers, Neetu, uh, Dr. Neetu Rani and Mr. Sahni, he is about to come. My dear students, faculty members, ladies and gentlemen, this day is celebrated as World Water Day since 1993. This was started by the United Nations as the uh, United Nations Observance Day for World Water Day. This is, in fact, there is a acute water crisis which whole world is facing. And now in coming days, this problem is going to be more. And keeping this in mind, just to create awareness among the different nations, different countries, different states, and among the institutions and individuals, this, this was started, this World Environment Day was started. From 1993, this is being observed, being celebrated on the 22nd March every year. And since we know the 
mandate of the Sustainable Development Goal 6. In Sustainable Develop SDG Goals, Sustainable Development Goal 6, which pronounces as water and sanitation for all by 2030. So up to 2030, this water and sanitation is to be provided to all, whole population should get at least fresh, fresh water or potable water and sanitation should be there. That's why this, this government in India also, Modi the government in the first, they have started about the sanitation. They are, that is also part of this. That is also, that is also part of this. And this second, second this, this Modi government too, they have gone for the sanitation. First for the sanitation, second for the water. That is, tap water should be available to all the population. That's why we are just, whatever is the, you know, uh, you know uh, this sustainable development goals are there. Our country is also follow, our country is also following that. So keep, keeping that in mind, this World Water Day is being celebrated today all over the world. Here, this seminar on the occasion of this World Water Day is being celebrated in Delhi Technological University in association with Institution of Engineer Delhi State Center and Safety and Quality Forum, <coughs> Institution of Engineers Delhi. So this problem, why, why this World, World Water Day was started, there is a, a lot of problems is being faced even in India our whole world is facing this problem so there should be how to tackle this just on this day every all organizations all institutions all institution has to think because in coming days this problem is going to be more and problem there should be some solution for that. If we talk about the water resources of our country, Dr. Mukherjee is here, he is from the Central Ground Water Board, he is the scientist. He was scientist in Central Ground Water Board, so he will discuss much about the, what are the problems with the ground water. But in general, as far as our country is concerned, we have sufficient water resources or we have very good water resources in comparison to other countries. Our average annual rainfall is 120 centimeter per annum or per year. It is supposed to be very high, much, much better, much better than other countries. Then why this problem is there when this we have sufficient water resources we have, then why we are also facing the problem of water? Every day just on the newspaper or TV we are just hearing there is conflict between Karnataka and Tamil Nadu or Andhra and uh, Tamil Nadu or from conflict between India and Bangladesh. So always this conflict is going on because there should be proper management. Our, with our water resources, there is some problems are there. First problem is that this, whatever rainfall is there, about 80%, more than 80% rainfall is consists to only four months. And eight months, there is no rain or very little rain. So whatever this excess water is there, that causes the flood. And uh, eight months, a scarcity of water. So their proper management is required. Our government of India has started interlinking of river. Interlinking of river was started long back, but we could not complete it. We have just started. There is only one river we have interlinking we have done. What is that river? 
that is kane betwa has been connected interlinking of kane betwa has been done when this interlinking of river rivers will be done then this problem is going to be solved but that is there is a lot of other problems in interlinking of rivers because a lot of environmental problems are there because of that this this is not a easy task when this interlinking of river will be done then all these problems will be solved same way this distribution of this rainfall is not the same in sub some area there is more and more rainfall is there in some area there is rajasthan there is no rain and in other place assam there is excess rain and there is a flood flood and drought are together in our country this is another problem so solutions for that is to be solved and interlinking of river is the major solution for this and proper management should be also done proper management means whatever rain is there it should be excess rain water should be stored and whatever stored water that can be used when there is no no rain is there so that proper management is re required and our in our country government is doing a lot a number of dams are being constructed but there is a need of construction of small dams here the theme of this world water day is ground water ground water in is visible resource visible impacts here when we talk about the this water resources there are the ground water as well as the surface water for surface water what is the condition of our rivers we know there is discharge problem a quantity problem as well as quality problem or rivers are getting polluted and also due to the increase of the water demand what is happening because of increase of the water demand this water requirement is increasing that's why our whatever water resources are there our rivers are there our ground water is there they are not sufficient to provide that much water but here here we have to discuss much about the ground water ground water as far as this ground water is concerned ground water is a problem of ground water is more serious if pollution of the river is there then you can find how much pollution is there or you can see how much pollution is there or how much discharge is there but as far as this ground water is there even its detection or monitoring is difficult what is happening in the ground water uh, madam neetu please come what is the status of ground water you cannot even monitor you cannot see so this ground water management is more difficult or more serious in comparison to surface water as with ground water in our country we are facing two problems one problem is our water table is going down and down what your water table we water we had we are exploiting or we are taking out more water and discharge of the ground water is less that's why this water table is going down and down and more and more water we are exploiting for water supply and major water which we are taking out is the irrigation for irrigation a lot of water is being taken taken out for the irrigation purpose and water table is going down now all states have started free electricity so when free electricity will be there then more and more exploitation of ground water will be there again it will affect the ground water ground water will be affected by these policies also so as we know when water table is going down and another problem also we are facing because of this quality of ground water is also getting affected 
this arsenic problem what is arsenic problem we are facing in our country that will be dealt by the dr mukherjee in the after this in detail so when just see there is nearby there is a bhalaswa dairy bhalaswa not dairy bhalaswa landfill site is there we have done the study of ground water nearby this bhalaswa dairy bhalaswa uh, uh, landfill so all the ground water has been contaminated and that is not fit for that is not fit for drinking or for other purposes so by all these things but just by discharge of the effluent by discharge of the solid waste ultimately now we are contaminating our ground water and with ground water there is another problem whatever ground water we are if there is some contamination of ground water here in bhalaswa or this place then all these contaminants will also travel a long distance they will not be limited to this place only they will travel a lot of distance just like we have heard about saraswati river so saraswati river starts and it moves several kilometer same way underground this all contaminant whatever we are contaminants are entering into the ground water they are moving a lot of distance or they are affecting the lot of area most of the population gets affected so quality wise also we have to see we have to save this ground water and also this water table which is going down that is also to be checked so that this ground water table should not go down government has taken a lot of steps for that now there should be whatever development will be there if there any industry is to be set up or any building is to be constructed or any housing society is to be developed so everywhere there will be a condition of zero discharge and you have not to take out take, take out the any any waste water from there what your water is there you have to reuse it recycle and reuse reuse it and also rain water harvesting is now mandatory purpose of rain water harvesting is just to make the ground water safe that is water table should not go down and i am also member of this environmental appraisal committee of all the industries of ministry of environment forest so there we put condition if industry any industry is taking water ground water then they have they are bound to recharge the ground water double of that whatever water they are taking out double of the that they have to recharge now government has made a strict a strict rules regulations but still our ground water table is going down and here in dtu we are in we are doing a lot of work for this ground water last year about four five students are working for their phd and last year six papers sci journal papers has been published in the ground water field and in our campus also we are just looking after this ground water we have a very big pond that we are we have maintained that pond and from that pond there is recharge of ground water is taking place and also whatever water is sewage is being produced we have set up a very good sewage treatment plant the treated water we use in gardening as well as just for in the pond so that pond from pond this water table is recharged and i tell you here in rohini area ground water is not very good ground water quality is not good so that cannot be used for drinking purposes but in our campus we are using only ground water <coughs> quality of ground water in our campus is very good and here we are using only ground water from the la up to last year we are using only ground water we are not using any delhi jal board water but last year only about some water we have taken from the 
Delhi Jal Board. Otherwise, most of the water we are using here in ground water. So now the town time has come. We have to conserve. We have to save our water resources in general and ground water specific. So a lot of work is required. A lot of awareness is required. A lot of research is required. I think whatever our experts will deliver, that will be very useful for this. Madam Neeturani will just deliver on wetlands, use of wetlands for wastewater treatment. And Mukherjee sahab, he will tell us about the how this groundwater is getting polluted because of the arsenic. We are facing a lot of problem. Our indo gangetic plain, this we are facing a lot of problem of this arsenic pollution. And a lot of diseases are being caused on the bank of cities where this located on the bank of river Ganga. I am right now. A lot of problem we are facing. And Angkor, he will also discuss about the a new wastewater technology has been started for the sewage treatment for to make the campuses or institutions zero discharge campus. So these three experts will talk on that. Once again, just I thank and welcome our chief guest, Dr. Nigam from Ministry of Earth Sciences, uh, my friend and my Dinesh Kumarji. He was the former engineer in chief, PWD Delhi. So a lot of work, whatever construction, whatever development activities has been done. He is responsible, he was responsible for that. And uh, I welcome all of you on this seminar, one day seminar, and hope whatever deliberations will be done will be much useful for humanities. Thank you, thank you very much.